everyone welcome back so in this video i am going to discuss about cross lingual language model so let's see what is meant by cross lingual language model it means transfer of knowledge from one language to another the process of sorry, the transfer of knowledge from one language to another is done by the cross lingual language models so let's understand it with the real time example okay so this is you you know your mother tongue let's say my mother tongue is telugu i know telugu and also i know english okay and one of my friend is from another state he know his mother tongue that is kannada and he knows english okay so now this friend came to telugu state for education purpose okay now he saw one article in the newspaper that is in telugu and he wanted to know what is there what is written in that article so he came to me and he said brother uh, this is the article i want to understand what is there in this article can you please uh, read it for me and can you please uh, translate it for me okay so you read that in telugu and you told him what is there exactly in that article in english so what you are doing you are transferring the knowledge you are transferring the knowledge from telugu to english to this person so this is nothing but cross lingual language okay this is what is done by the cross lingual language model so let me arrange this you should also know how it works right so let me tell you the working of the cross lingual language model okay so for every language model the the training process is mandatory without training you can't call it a model okay so training with what you have to train that particular model so here let's say you have lots of training data on english language but you have very less training data on telugu language you will feed this both languages to the language model for training purpose so whenever it is undergoing the training process what it will do actually it is having lots of data in english right so what it will do it will understand the patterns i mean it will understand how the sentences are formed so that is how it will be familiar with english right so whenever a language model that is undergoing a training process so this is what it is doing it will understand the patterns it will understand how the sentences are formed and many more things it will learn and here you are not only training it in english you are also training it with some part of data that is in telugu so now what it will do it will do mapping hey what is this mapping mapping is nothing but it will find the similarities between english and telugu but how it will find so 
let's say if if it find some telugu word like santosham what it will do it will understand what it means in english like what is mean by santosham in english it is nothing but happy so in its memory it will map these two words why it will map these two words because these words are similar so like this in its memory it will map the similar words of telugu and english okay now at the last whenever a user is asking something in telugu what it will do it it has some data it has mapped some data from telugu to english right it it has some data in its memory so whenever i ask some question it will check whether any part of the words are present in here let's say i asked english lo santosham ante enti like i have asked one question in in telugu to that model what it will do it already knows what is mean by santosham in english so it will map the words and it will understand okay the santosham means happy so she is asking what is mean by happy in english so what it will do it will understand this whatever the query you are asking and it will give you the answer so this is how the cross lingual language model will work so first the model will be trained by both the languages and whenever the model undergoes the training process it will understand the patterns and how the sentences are formed and then you are training it with two languages so what it will do it will find it will map the similarities like this and it will store it in its memory right now whenever the user asks some question in the language which it does not know then it will try to map those words present in the sentence to this space and then it will give you the output so this is the working of the cross lingual language models so in which kind of applications will it be used like chatbots for example as chat gpt itself if you ask chat gpt any question in telugu it will try to answer it so this is how a cross lingual language model will work so in the next lecture i'll come come up with another topic until then thank you bye